Many of these old projects shown on the screen right here use a technique called parallax, an effect where the position or direction of an object changes differently depending on what you're looking at. Here is one of my examples of parallax, yet to be released on the Hyperpad Hub at the exact moment that I am speaking. There is a bunch of stuff happening in the scene, but let's just focus on the parallax effect. You'll notice how the background moves with the screen position. The closest layer, or the front layers, move the most, while the furthest layers, or the back layers, move the least. This nice contrast is what gives the 3D look and feel. In this demonstration, the white circle represents the horizontal position. Depending on where the position is, the layers will move along with varying factors, which cause them to move less, or move more than other layers. Layer 1 is the closest layer, therefore it will move the most. Layer 3 is the furthest layer, therefore it will move the least. I think you got the hang of this. Let's begin putting things together. Let's create a new project. Uh, might as well just call it Parallax Example 2. You guys can name it whatever you want. I'm just naming it this because it's for the tutorial. I don't need this. Uh, let's go. Let's go and create our own project. Boom, there we go. And yeah, there's no assets or anything, so we're starting from scratch here. Let's create a new empty object, which is going to be the ground. I'm going to make it big. I'm going to make it so it's not passable. Uh, stretch it out. Do some crazy stuff with it. <laughs> then I'm going to make it green so you guys can see it. And because it's just grass, I guess. I, I usually like to make it green. Uh, so yeah, that's a whole rectangle right there. That's, that's really it. <laughs> all right new empty objects this is gonna be the player uh, i'm gonna make it physical make it not passable and i'm gonna make it red so you guys can see it again i don't know why i made it red i just made it red and let's go into the behaviors okay joystick controlled which is this behavior and it allows you to control the player with a joystick jump a button let's make it so the screen can follow the player let's test it out Okay, alright, um, I can jump, but I don't know how fast it's actually moving, let's find out. Okay, that moves so slow. Okay, let's fix that, let's quit, go back into the behaviors, change up the speed, I'm gonna increase it maybe to 25, may I'll increase the jump as well. Okay, there we go, I think we're ready to set up our layers now, let's go. Alright, let's make our first layer, layer 1. Let's move it under the main layer where the player is. Alright, let's create an empty object, which will be the landscape behind the player. I'm going to change the collision of it so I can, I can make a random shape out of it, which is gonna, what I'm going to be doing. The random shape. Okay. No. Put connect. Just connect. There we go. Alright, I'm going to change the color up a bit. Uh... Nah, I want it brown. No. Yeah. That works. I think that's good for now. Okay. Um, let's add a tag to it. Let's call it layer 1. There we go. And let's make it bigger. So we can cover the whole scene. Oh crap, I gotta charge my iPad. New layer. Calling this layer 2. <laughs> okay, I messed up there. Layer 2. Boom, move it under layer 1, so it's going to be behind layer 1. Okay, let's copy this. Make it darker. Okay. There we go. Alright, new layer, layer 3. Again, behind layer 2. So it's going to be under layer 2. There we go. Make it a darker color, or gray. Gray works. I don't know. Okay. Here's layer 1. Boom. Layer 2. Layer 3. As you can tell, it goes in order from front to back. You guys can understand that. <laughs> right. Let's go to the main layer. Let's click on the player. Let's go into the behaviors of the player. And here we go. This is where we have fun. Okay. Behavioral bundle. Now let's get the screen position. Now let's create two variables. Uh, variable 1. 
variable 2. There we go. These are going to be responsible for storing the coordinates of the screen. Uh, this is going to be the X. This is going to be the Y. Alright, let's create an input field. So we can initialize these behaviors. So you want to initialize variable X with the horizontal screen position and initialize variable Y with the vertical screen position. Let's plug in the Y. There we go. Make sure we start behavior is on for both of these. So essentially, all I'm doing is initializing these variables with the screen position. So when the scene starts, X and Y are initialized at the screen position. That's it. Alright, let's add a timer. Set it to zero so it constantly runs over like each frame. Add a behavioral bundle. If you don't know what a behavioral bundle is, uh, behaviors from left to right will execute in order. Alright, let's get the screen position and subtract the x and y position of the screen by the initialized variables respectively so here we got the x from the screen x from a variable y from a screen and y from a variable there we go we subtracted those now after this you can use the move by behavior of this and move layers but we're not we're not going to be doing that yet so um let's let's create an input field for x variable x and variable y and we're going to be setting these values to screen positions respectively again so there goes x and variable x there goes screen y and variable y there we go and that's it you're, you're halfway done now all I'm doing is trying to find out how much the screen has moved in the X and the Y axes. Now this is optional but I'm going to add a comment so it's easier to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to make it, make this layer 1, name it, layer 2, layer 3, there we go. Easy peasy, uh, let's add a division behavior which is going to divide the change in x and the change in y which are the subtract values okay boom now i'm going to divide it by a factor now the bigger the factor is the less the layer is going to move and vice versa so i'm going to use 1.5 which is going to um move half as less as it should now i'm going to move a layer with it plug in the x and the y respectively Okay, layer one. Boom, let's see how it looks. Awesome, there it goes. Uh, you can see wherever I move, the background's gonna move with me, but with a factor. So um, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna up this up a little bit just to see what it does. And so you can see what it does. Uh, okay. Boom, that's a big change right there. Yeah, you can see how the background moves more. Um, relative to the screen position so visually it look like I move more so before I will duplicate all these behaviors I'm gonna make it zoom out I'm gonna zoom out the screen a little bit so you guys can see more of it see the effect um, so I'm gonna duplicate all these behaviors with bigger factor or smaller factor you can just change up the factors and see how much or oh crap okay okay I'm gonna go to layer 2 and make this into layer two i'm gonna go to layer three make that into layer three forgot to do this at the beginning um oh i didn't mean to do that okay okay let's go back into the behavior main boom there we go five five layer two let's duplicate this behavior one more time maybe i'll make this factor eight boom boom layer three put in those values respectively and there we go there's that now let's test it out and see if it's working correctly oh i think i got it backwards okay i got it backwards yeah you can tell i got it backwards was, it doesn't look right no nah, it does not look right no okay let's quit okay so the very front layer should have the biggest factor and the layers on the back should have the smallest factor. Mm -hmm. Okay, after a couple of attempts, 
Wow, that looks good. Wow, okay, okay. Oh, shut up, Twitter. Shut up. But wow. That looks good. If you play enough of the factors enough, you'll get the preferred results that you want. And on top of that, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial slash video. This is my first time making a type of video like this. Uh, if you guys want more, uh, comment down below what you want. And see you later, guys.